Hello guys and welcome back to my Hollyoaks review channel for Thursday 23rd of July 2021. Who is the bigger villain, Summer or Trisha? What do you guys reckon? I'm going to give you two seconds. One, two. I think it's Summer. She's such a villain. She plays the villain really well. Though Sienna was convinced that Brody had nothing to do with um, the murder of Liberty... But Summer's gone and changed her view completely. Even when Sienna spoken to Damon, Damon was like, oh, no, you, you know, Brody can never do that. So obviously, Sienna obviously believed him. She knows Brody very well. But Summer still managed to convince Sienna, or at least make Sienna believe that, yeah, Brody's, Brody's got something to be guilty of because why is he running away? Summer is just such a mastermind. She is just a pure mastermind. She knows exactly what she's doing. And she's got Sienna right under her little thumb. Um, I think the next villain would obviously be Trisha. You know, after Sid uh, got the got the neck from uh, Stee about Leah's, you know, what happened to Leah in the woods. And obviously he was, he was also, Stee was also furious with Trisha. And he's come back, you know, and Scott, Scott played a bit of a devil's advocate because he's like, he was really angry with Trisha at first, but she managed to convince Scott. Then Scott obviously hated it when he went back to Leah's house because Leah and Steve, they were happy. They were going to watch a movie. They're in the bath. I think Leah was having a bath, sorry. But, and, you know, they, they were just, it was just amazing like how they were getting along or uh, have to have such a good day. And then Scott comes and bloody ruins it. Because obviously he believes Trisha, and obviously, oh, and Trisha came round in the end. Maxine was there. She, I don't know how she managed to get un, um turn Stee Stee around. To me, that was just um, oh, I just really didn't like that. I think Trisha, she irritates me more than Summer. Summer just plays the villain so well that she's a valuable asset to Hollyoaks. Not that Trisha isn't. But Summer is such a valuable asset. And she just plays the villain so well. Um, but I really... Please, if any of the Hollyoaks writers or producers are listening to me, do not drag this storyline anymore. Would the legends get Liberty out? It's just been too long. We don't want this to go on to you know, Christmas or whatnot. That would, that would not be good. Okay, what else happened in that episode? You had obviously Brooke coming out um to Imran and Juliet, who obviously, you know, were saying, Well, I can't believe you held it in this long. Obviously she came out as non binary. Uh then they went to the prom, everything was all good, so she was really worried about that. Um if you ask me, obviously Imran is a very um loyal partner or boyfriend to her, and obviously Juliet uh, seems to be a very good mate. Um yeah, and um, that was, I think that's a new, obviously, what you, if you've been watching Holy X for long, you'll, you'll notice like the last 10 or 20 years, people are coming out as gay. And now obviously, there are more situations happening. So obviously, now, I think non-binary is like a kind of, a, I think it's fair to say it's a new kind of um, development we're seeing in, in soaps and whatnot. Um so you know at the end of the day um i think they're just trying to pr um, portray what's happening around in real life as well so um let me know what you guys thought about you know summer and trish damon number one best friend i would love to have a best friend like damon um so yeah let me know what you guys thought of today's episode Take it easy and I'll see you in the next.